guys and welcome back to my channel and part two of everything that you need for your new puppy. In the last week we've actually went out, we went to a, a couple of different shops and we got a, a few different things and few new things for our new puppy. We're getting him in two weeks time now and we are so excited because we're getting closer and closer to the point of knowing that okay we have everything that we need. So without further ado uh, let's get into it. So the first thing that I wanted to share with you guys is this little puppy brush. So the puppy brush is really important because it depends on what kind of coat they have um, and you can ask your vet or you can ask uh, someone at the pet shop to know which specific brush. I actually went on Google and I googled a couple of answers which specific brush would be the best for my breed that I'm getting and this is the one that we need. So if you guys want to please guess which breed I am getting because I am really excited. I'm not going to share it un until we have the puppy. So that's f the first thing that we have. The second thing that we have, which is very, very important, and this is important for their safety, is a collar. So this is a small collar. I am sure I'm still a little bit unsure if it's going to be too big for him. But we we got a blue color, uh, collar, so we are um, we are going to use the blue collar for the first bit, and then we'll probably go in onto a new one because there's a specific one that I want for him when he's a little bit older, when he's an adult dog. Uh, but we'll get into that um, when the time is here, and then the second second thing we already put it on is an ID tag. So this is just a normal ID tag. Um, my, his name and my number is at the, uh, engraved at the back there. But it's really important for them so that, you know, if it happens that he gets out or, you know, some things happen, hopefully not. You know, we do everything in our power to make sure that the puppy is safe. But if something were to happen, then at least they have their ID tag. So the person who finds him can contact you and get your puppy back to you. So that's really important. And then the next thing that I got is some puppy shampoo. So it's recommended to be uh, to give your puppy a bath uh, once every month from what I've read but of course some answers differ um, so once a month is a good uh, period of time depending on of course how long they are out for and how adventurous they are but in the beginning your puppy is still growing and it's really really important to keep them um, to keep them safe and to keep the adventures for a later stage when they are a little bit grown up so the puppy shampoo will be using once a month or we'll take to a groomer because this is a type of breed that needs grooming um, and then the next thing that we got we got a lead so I'll show you this lead this is a really cool lead it is 1.8 meters or six feet so it's a six a six foot long lead um, and this is a great one because you can actually use the hooks and you can attach it around your waist so the puppy can't go really far it's attached around your waist and he he stays close to you uh, when you are maybe doing some lead training or heel training sorry some heel training and um, then you have them close to you or if you want to you can just attach it to your belt I love these little buckles because it's really easily attachable to your belt so you can have them close by at all times then the next thing that we got we got this little um, treat bag so we went to a place called Absolute Pets. This is one of our favorite shops because they are all around Cape Town um, and they had a really good special on for if you buy something over, I think 300 Rand or 250, then you get something for free uh, a couple of weeks ago. And then we went there and then at the time, they they said okay this is your f the free because we asked of course that was a couple of months before getting the puppy so we needed to find out what this free thing is so we asked them and they said no it's a treat and then we said okay well that treat is probably going to expire by the time that we get the puppy so is there anything else that you can give us for our little free thing and um, they gave us this treat bag so this treat bag is really cool because it's collapsible and you can take it out you can keep uh, f some food in there you can keep basically keep anything in here but it's really cool because it zips up so it's really easily um, easy and convenient to use so that's the next thing that we got um, then next we have our stain and odor remover this is op uh, absolutely important because obviously in the beginning they will still be potty training so it's really important to keep an eye out and if those accidents happen which they will because it's still a puppy it's still a baby so uh, it's important to get something stain and odor removal so that you can keep your home clean and smelling wonderful and you know getting the odor out of your carpets if you have carpets or wood or anything like that then 
Another thing that we got, and this is something very close to my heart, is my boyfriend actually got him this uh, little jacket. Uh, it is winter here in South Africa um, at the moment, so it will be very cold when we get him. And he, got, we got him this little jacket. It's probably going to be too small for the jacket, but we'll see because they do grow quite quickly. This is part of a Mother's Day gift that my boyfriend got for me for him um, as part of Mother's Day because obviously I don't have any children, so this will technically be like my kid uh, and he got us this uh, cute jacket so it's a it's a really cute jacket that he got us and they he also wrapped it in a in a cute little box I'll attach the video and you can see like the box is so cute and then there was a little letter um, that the dog actually well typed out for me um, of course you know it was my boyfriend but it's the idea that counts and I found it very very sweet so he got this jacket and then the next thing that he got as well is a uh, little Little rubber ball which all which you can also put some stuffing in there there's a hole there you can put some stuffing in which makes it a good treat for them and then you also got this uh, this chewable bone which is great because it's really really tough so it's a good it's a good toy to have for the teething stage and this is part of a brand called dogs life uh, which is a brand that I've been seeing more and more in the shops so this is definitely something to keep an eye out because they look very environmentally friendly um, they look really good it's healthy teething and um, it apparently it floats it's non-toxic it's 100% recyclable it can bounce so it's bouncy as well and then it's natural rubber as well so there's a couple of fun facts about this brand uh, which you can find in your local pet shops and then next thing that we got is we got a um, uh, 18 poop rolls <laughs> poop, ba poop bags <laughs> we got 18 rolls of poop bags so this is something that is really important because we want to get to a point where the puppy will be trained and we can take him out a lot and we can go on adventures with him but of course it's really important to still keep the environment clean so to clean up after your dog is really important and we got these biodegradable um, poop bags and we also got a poop scooper I'll also attach a video of what the poop scooper looks like because I am not someone who can just, you know, pick it up with a bag around my hand. I just, I can't, I just can't. Anyway, uh, that's the next thing that we got. And then we also got, this is something that I bought online and uh, it's a slow feeder. So this is quite a big bowl, but I still think that it's a good investment long-term because a slow feeder is really good for developing the mind of the puppy and to get them thinking and to get them, you know, actively playing with their food and making it a mind game instead of just having a normal meal. And then um, another thing that I wanted to, talk about is pet insurance so pet insurance is really really important guys make sure that if you are thinking of getting a puppy that you are taking into consideration that monthly fees will also be a thing with regards to food and not just food but also taking care of your pets on a medical basis so you want to get a good pet insurance we're still looking around to different kind of budgets so if you have any recommendations for good pet insurance brands definitely uh, drop a comment I would love to know and um, yeah, so that's something that we are looking at to see which one would be best for our dog. Of course, when you are getting a specific breed, make sure that you also do research on what they are prone of, you know, any prone illnesses or something to keep an eye out for, um, to make sure that your puppy just has the best longest life that he can or he or she can possibly have. And then the next thing that we got, uh, this is also from Absolute Pets, is we, uh, we now have a loyalty card with them. Is a new puppy checklist so here from the video that I um, the first video this is also a great checklist so it has a couple of things uh, on here which you can tick off as you go so it's a really nifty checklist so definitely something to look at and then they also sorry I just dropped this um, this is a routine care guide it's actually a fridge magnet so we keep it on the fridge you can put the pet's name there and then there's a couple of things that you can just check um, for to get his monthly injections or quarterly injections or anything that they might need and also there's more more information here at the back so that's really really nifty to use for your new pet and then two other things that I wanted to talk about and what we got firstly a crate so here's a video of the crate that we got it's a really big crate it's cra it's big enough for him and the reason why we got it is not for discipline purposes we are not going to use the crate to discipline him or we are going to use positive reinforcement we're only going to use the, the crate to keep him safe of course 
being in a modern kind of age home, there's obviously going to be um, cables and things lying around and we want to keep the puppy safe and if you want to slip out of the house you want to keep him safe by keeping it in a crate if you decide to so a crate is something to consider because it, it's like having his own room like when you have you know maybe you have a kid and they have their own room it's the same kind of principle it's just it's their safe space so we're going to enforce um, crate training we're going to see I know there are a couple of dogs who really don't like crate training so it all depends on you know what your what your dog likes and how they adjust to it so it is a thing that you you really have to um work in gradually is the crate training and making it a really great space for them so the crates is something that we also got and then we also got a playpen here's a video of the playpen this is a uh this is also an online purchase that we made the crate was actually secondhand bought from someone in our area and then the playpen we bought online it's a really really big playpen it's more than big enough for him and the playpen is only for using him while he's still a puppy and if we are you know around the house we maybe want to do something i want to do a couple of you know check my emails or do some work or whatever then he can be in the playpen if I'm if I'm not able to give him that attention or if I just need him to be in a safe secured area and still be able to keep an eye out on him while he's a puppy then the playpen is definitely something that you want to look for and you can also lay out your um your what do you call it the puppy um the training pads sorry the training potty pads you can also lay them out on your playpen um, around your playpen so that they have a nice area for them to go potty if need be so that is it for today guys i am so excited i can't believe we're going to make one more video and then after the next video will be the revealing of my new puppy i'm so excited it's going to be absolutely amazing oh and another thing before i go there's another thing that we got we got artificial grass we, we just moved into our new place because our previous place wasn't pet friendly so we moved into this new place we got some artificial grass so that he can go out in the balcony it's a nice big balcony so there's more than enough space for him to go potty and do what he needs to do and uh yeah that's also something to look at if you are staying in an apartment then definitely get some artificial grass you also get really great uh, artificial grass uh, little squares that are specifically for for dogs so they are specifically made for your pets to go potty there um, they have specific ingredients in and i don't know what the science is behind it but there's definitely science behind it so that's also something to look at so that's it for me today guys make sure you uh, like and subscribe leave a comment i really appreciate all of you and i hope you have an amazing day and we'll chat soon Bye.